Hey there YouTube, today I'm doing a quick video review on this Performax a 4.5 inch compact circular saw with laser guide that I got at Menards. It was about 45 bucks I think. It has a 2 year warranty. Here are the specifications. And there's the UPC. Alright, in the box you have a manual. Who reads that? You have the saw blade already installed, a vacuum attachment, and a guide. Alright, so I used this to cut up some old flooring. It was really nice just to go, you know, down the floor. On the side here, it has a depth gauge. You just loosen this, and then you can, then you can adjust the depth up and down, and lock it in. It does have graduations on there, so you can see how deep you're setting it. I would have preferred if there were notches or something every half inch or so, uh, just so this didn't move. I found that the design of this is pretty lacking because it doesn't have anywhere to place your hand up here to keep the saw down, so you're kind of gripping with this hand. And I mean, if you have a strong enough wrist, you'll probably be okay, but if you bind, and I bound a few times, it'll want to kick up at you, which is a little unnerving. Um, my skill saw has a handle that I can hold, like this, and then I actually looked up a few other ones of these, and they have handles too, on the sides or on the top, like the DeWalt battery powered one has a handle. Um, this one does not have a handle for your other hand. You can kind of double hold it, but... And the problem is there's no handhold up here near the blade at all, like on the DeWalt's. So you feel like you're holding it down here, and you don't have a whole lot of lateral control. Um, let me show you. I keep wanting to put my hand near here there because there's no place. So. Be careful not to push on the blade, which is really hard when you're holding all your weight here. Because if you push on the blade, you're gonna adjust your see, you're gonna adjust your uh, depth. You don't want to do that. It'd be nice if it had notches that it's rusted in, but it is only 45 bucks, and the Dewalt's 100. Maybe that's why. so sketchy. It's 5.8 amps. One sucky thing is that it comes with a laser, but it's powered by two button cell batteries. So it's actually a pretty good laser. It's accurate, but one problem I have with this is that when you get done cutting, you forget to turn it off and then your battery's dead. There's no timeout on this. Um, so you have to remember to switch that off. It's kind of nice that it's independent. I wish it was powered by the cord and still had a switch because I would just leave it on all the time that way you can line your cuts up before you start start sawing but the issue with it being battery powered is that uh, 
right when you need it, those batteries are going to be dead. It does have a miter, or I don't know what this would be called, a bevel, so it can do sideways cuts kind of, you know. Here's a close-up of the blade that comes with it. It's just a four and a half inch Performax blade. There's the part number. It has a little Allen wrench holder on the cord, which is pretty nice, so you can change the blade. The blade uses an Allen wrench. On the back side, there's a shaft locking button that you push down. So then you can turn this and it'll fall into that groove and you can change your blade if you need to. The safety switch here is not the most comfortable safety switch to hit when you're trying to do this. I find that it kind of is half on my thumb. I wish it was maybe up here a little bit more, up at the top of it. But So overall, for 45 bucks and then, what is that, really? It's only 40 bucks after rebates. <laughs> uh, this is not a bad tool. To find something that was 5.8 amps on Amazon, it'd be probably about 60 bucks. So yeah, I'm gonna just keep this for those few times I'm ever gonna need it. Otherwise, I'll probably just use my seven and a quarter inch skill saw. <laughs> but this is kind of a nice to have. If you're debating between getting this and a seven and a quarter inch circular saw for a project, I'd say get the bigger saw. Uh, it's just gonna be more versatile. This is a very niche, tool. I bought it just because I've been looking at them and I was kind of curious. It wasn't much easier to use than the seven and a quarter inch skill saw. Uh, I, I really, what I should have bought for this project was a toe kick saw because it would have actually came in handier for cutting the edges of the subfloor, but live and learn. I bought this and I can't in good conscience return it. I'd give it a four out of five stars. Not super great, but you know, it is what it is for the price. And I thought I would just show you the laser here. You can see it there. Shines pretty good. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them in the comments, and thanks for watching.